Good morning. It's our last full day here. We are going to a restaurant. Check out the view. <laughs> We're going to a pretty famous dumpling spot. Yeah, it's called OK. It's gonna be like a 30 minute excursion to get there. A subway. And it's raining today. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, but we'll see. Check out my new hat. Just bought it yesterday. So our dumpling place doesn't open for another 30 minutes. So there's a Starbucks or so. There's a Starbucks across the street. And I ordered, you know, a typical matcha oat milk latte, but they thought I meant out milk, like AU milk, whatever that is. Usually they give you this receipt that has oat milk and it says like give to barista once you receive your thing. And this time I didn't get one, which was weird. I took a sip of my drink and I knew immediately it was not oat milk. It was a little scary. Ooh. And then so I had to go back, refund them. Here they it's not like the states where they just re they quickly remake your drink. Yeah. They have to like go through a whole process. They refunded me, they made me put my card back in, had to rebuy it. But my drink has an oat milk oat milk sticker, so thank god I have the other one I saved. Mm -hmm. And I still have it. Yeah. Oat milk, not oat milk. Mm -hmm. I'm just here enjoying my morning matcha and today is Monday so next watching Monday Night Football in the States on his phone and he's been huffing and puffing and screaming and hollering all morning even on the subway which you're not supposed to be even talking about. We're in line now waiting. We were the first one. I want to start Dude, I want to import a Japanese truck. Like twelve. How was your experience? Very nice, very good. Let's go. There's like three restaurants all near each other, and I feel like they both, or all three of them, are all dank because there's lines at every, line, every single, single one. one. The one next to the dumpling or the gyoza spot, it looks like a ramen joint. And the one next to it looks like a, what does it say? It looks like a plate, I don't know. If you want food, I definitely recommend coming over here to OK. OK, Nomise, what is it? Gyoza Nomise, OK. Something like that. <laughs> We're heading to the 2D Cafe and excited. It's like, Everything's in black and white. 2D. 2D. I'm excited. This has been on my to-do list for quite some time now, before we even like planned going to Japan. This place is already 10 out of 10 for me. The aesthetics and this is the first place that I've seen that actually has a plug just for plug-in purposes. I'm so happy. Okay, here at the 2D Cafe, oh my gosh, that here is blasting, it's hot. The cute little black charcoal, charcoal cafe, it had a cute little heart, but obviously waited a little too long. Right, it's black charcoal. Let's give it a little sippy sip. A little regular schmegular black charcoal. 
What's that like? It's definitely like black coffee. When it comes to coffees and stuff, I like it like extra latte y. Okay, so it makes your teeth and mouth a little black. Definitely adding some sugar to it though. I found a Korean skincare store. Like I was saying, I found a Korean skincare and you know, I'm getting to that age where I need to start taking care of my face more. Did I just spend like $300 on skincare? Yes, I did. But the ladies that work there, they hooked me up and they gave me a free gift. It was like a little makeup bag and then they kept they, they kept giving foil packets of Skincare. They gave me hand cream, so cleanser cream, so. cleanser cream, lotion, foaming cleanser, and a bag is what I got as a gift. Pretty happy about it. Hopefully, I come out looking like these uh, Korean. Ooh, shoes. Should we go? Okay. Oh, look at your shoes. Hey. One last stop that I want to go to, but I can tell Nick is over me. <laughs> All we've done today is go and, gone shopping. You okay? Huh? Okay. The last store that I want to check out is the Babe store. And after that, oh yeah, and I bought something at supreme it was kind of an impulse buy i think that's what it's called because i just wanted the bag if you ever bought pounds of rice and it came in that like woven bag that's what it is it's not like plastic and so i wanted to buy something just so i can get the bag and he almost just gave me like the small one because i got a pair of socks he almost gave me the small bag but i had to ask for the big one I think this is it. I think, I think, I think this is it. Oh, it's this whole store. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. I was so close to buying a Bape Puffer army jacket. So close because it's came out to like 277 US and I want to say in the States it's like 600 but in reality when would I wear it I usually only wear black and I have nowhere to store it. <laughs> Nick is um, in his what third round of Wagyu and he is he found a place called that whatever that is they have grilled vegetables so I'm excited about that cute little hat change and shoe change I haven't been doing a lot of outfit of the days but it's like Korean barbecue kind of joint they give you hot towel which I love everywhere you go I'm a big fan of these bibs <laughs> my veggie soup. <gasps> Yum! It has bean sprouts. Okay, the presentation. 
location here is amazing. Phenomenal. Yeah, it's pretty really nice. I look crazy. Uh, if you're ever in Tokyo, go to this restaurant. And service is great. Service is great. We love Harutaka. Harutaka. He's the best. He's the best. Uh, come here to eat. Right now, we're on our way to Shibuya. I want to see if I can buy suitcase a suitcase because i'm like master of like fitting everything in one carry-on suitcase which i still am <laughs> but this trip i just kind of went a little too crazy it's with the shopping kind of hard not to and you just see everything and it's like ugh. i think we'll push it over the crazy. edge what we'll pushed it over the edge is the all my touch. no my skincare the skincare they're like that for sure has to be checked into a suitcase because it's above the, the three size. it's above three ounces minimum five and up i got full size which okay so for my ladies and for those that does skincare i spent about 222 or 220 220 on yeah. on skincare but i got seven products Seven. And they gave me like little freebies. Um, they gave me some foil packets, but also like a makeup bag and like hand cream. But I think it's so worth it. I told my sister and she was like, I would spend three times as much with the same amount. But yeah, two. So it came out to like $30 a bottle essentially, which is unheard of. It's usually like 50, 60 bucks per one bottle, but pretty excited. I'm gonna do some skincare tonight. And again, yeah, I'm gonna try to look for a suitcase and then go back to the hotel. Tomorrow's our last day, but Nick, watch out. <laughs> Almost got hit by a car. <laughs> I'm gonna try to look for a suitcase. Tomorrow is our last day. We go home tomorrow. Our flight isn't until 6 p.m. So I'm planning to leave this, this city by like two to get to the airport by like four, 4.30 check in check our suitcases in do whatever we need to and then yeah so we have the morning time to do stuff or last minute things that we want to do i don't know if nick's gonna survive but i just want to do one stop and that's it <laughs> this store is 24 hours and it's massive it's just like floors and floors and floors and floors of things there's like everything you think of like I feel like it's a Walmart but crazier I don't know it's how do you feel about this place it's, crazy. it's overwhelming we left uh, what was that store called that crazy Don stuff Quixote. Don Quixote got some goods I got a bag, mainly. The suitcases were whatever, and I didn't want to pay a hundred bucks or so for a bag that was just whatever. Like, I would rather just go to, like, Marshalls. Now we're on our way to Ichiran. Even though we have that in the States, we gotta try it straight from the source, you know? Anyways, like I was saying before, I got distracted. At Don Quixote, they had Ichiran ramen packs, which they have them in the States, but the Ichiran packs, it was like $3 a pop. And then they're just like single bags that you can like, like add water to. That was Chinko. fun. What? Pachinko. Oh, Pachinko. It's their gambling. Their form of gambling. It's like pinball. Do you, oh, okay. Glorified pinball. Glorified pinball. But do you make money off of it? You can, but it's just like any gambling, you know? Okay. <laughs> this is where I'm Girls at. Club. You want to go? Sexy no. Two Shot Cabaret Club. No. There's a lot of like, it's giving, um, it's almost giving like Thailand. I forget what street it is. But there's just like a bunch of people hanging out. 
outside of their bar or restaurant, like, you know, trying to get you in. Try to get you in. Oh, there's each your own over there. Where? Oh, yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like you guys are doing that. Oh. <laughs> These uh, booths are a little small. But I will say, it has a fun little uh, rotating chair, so that's cool. Each booth is like its own stationary booth. It doesn't have the little open divider thing. And fact, it is from what, 10 a.m. to 6 a.m.? Apparently. And uh, yeah, we're so thirsty. I haven't had like any water today. This whole trip, I think I'm drinking more beer than water. I think I've had more popcorn than any any other nutritional value of this or Okay, something I'm trying out for the first time. I got the Ichiran tea. Let's try it out. Oh, it has like oh. Yeah. Black tea. It's good though. It's cold. It's cold black tea. Mm. One thing that Nick said, which I also agree with, we like that you pay first for the little machines and then you come here to eat and then you just leave. So that's cool. Thank